Hello, it's Sarah again. Um, I wanted to share this little, uh, it's a, actually a four box uh, match box. That's like a little dresser when you connect up all the match boxes. These are the kitchen size and it's steampunk style. So I wanted to share that. I have the, it's called botanical, what is the paper stack called? Steampunk Botanica. And it's a re recollections. Um, I've made quite a few things with this so far, um, but I was in the mood to do steampunk. So, because um, I've had these these um, these flowers were actually on clearance. Um, recollections has some pretty cool new flowers out right now. Um, they had the zipper flowers, which I was really tempted to use, but um, I really wanted to use these lace flowers because I made this one. Um, I just posted a video of um, Nurse Tara 04 had shown how to make these uh, easy peasy lace uh, flowers. So anyway, that's kind of was my inspiration. I knew I was going to have the red. I wanted to use the red from this paper line as my like pop color. And then I also used the, um, the Tim Holtz alterations um, on the edge die. Uh, what is it called? Steampunk. It's called Steampunk, but it's this little, uh, these gears in the back. And I just put, um, I used black chipboard, and then I put some rub and buff on. I think there's gold and silver, and then I used stickles, black sparkly stickles. What color is that? Black diamond stickles. And just kind of put it random here and there um, as like the backdrop for it. And then I made this little charm. You kind of you can take it off if you want so because I, I wanted to add chain and I guess I still could but I ended up putting um, I always I, I never finish what I'm saying but anyway I made this little dangle I have some skulls because this paper line has skulls on it I don't know if there's any on this particular paper this one has the spider and a key yeah there's no skull on this one let's see no but there are skulls on it, not on the bottom either. So anyway, I had these, look at this like black skull right here. I put a little red flower behind it so the eyes are like glowing. It looks pretty cool. And I just go with like, I put green leaves. So I ended up putting like a green skull on here, um, a green bead, red beads, and just some keys and locks and another skull charm, a red skull charm. So I figured I would try. I've never actually used these little clips. So I thought, oh, I'll clip that on there and hang a charm from it. Um, and then the drawers, I wanted to just point this out because sometimes you can struggle with your drawers on these things. They tend to, they get uh, a little sticky. And because I covered up the back, you don't have the advantage of being able to push it from the back to get the drawer out. So you really have to be sure that your drawers are going to open, you know, by pulling them like that. So I used, I kind of made this makeshift, um, it, I just poked a hole and used a piece of wire. The same gets like 20 gauge silver wire, this wire. Because this was a button, I just threaded it through the button hole and then threaded the wire through this little, um, gear chart like gears and then just I just fold it over the wire and it's not that strong I mean it's strong enough like you can actually get a grip of it and pull it but if the drawer were to get stuck I don't I don't know what would happen I think the button would just kind of come off so what I did this time to make sure that because these all are coming out real nice this one's a, like the most sticky but what I did end up doing um, was I took the Tim Holtz I don't know what the, oh, the distress tool, the distressing tool. It's like a razor blade in there. And I did, cause I actually put paper on all sides of this too. And I painted the edges with black acrylic paint. So, I mean, that might seep into the cardboard a little bit too and make it a little, like make it swell or something. I don't know. Um, so what I ended up doing to make sure it would fit was I just distressed the top edges only. And then I did come back with the black paint again and just like 
Um, I mean, it looks rough and everything, but I think it just kind of softened it up a little bit enough to like make sure that it would totally go in and come back out again without a pro too much of an issue. There, it's really actually working really well, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, there we go. So all I, I didn't do much to it. I didn't embellish too much, just on top. This had a key hanging here in the little spider, so I just put a, a keyhole. And then I had these red butterflies, and it was just the same color, so I just did that. Um, like I said, I put like a little gear on each um, drawer and then a button to, as the pull. And I just use gears and metal pieces. I have two, two metal leaves, and the rest is just gears poking through. Um, I put a spinner on the um, clock face there, a little metal flower, and some bling. So that was basically it. And like I said, I stickled that. And then I just put a butterfly on this side, a silver butterfly, because that was all flower. I didn't really do anything to the back. Um, I've seen some people, you could put like a little pocket here and you could have like a secret little area to put a, a little note or something like that. But um, I think it turned out really cute. I like how I did the skull with the little red eyes. Oh, and I put a wing right there. So I steampunked it up a little bit. I put four corners on each corner. And, um, what's the matter, Curb? So that's about it. I could put feet on it, but I ha I didn't decide what kind of feet I wanted. Um, some type of metal, like a big bolt or something. Maybe I'm going to go get some bolts. Like really big nuts. Nuts or bolts? Nuts. Nuts, I think it would be. <laughs> but, okay, guys. Thanks. That's about it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.